people that you have not seen the good old days. I feel sorry for you. When it was so difficult to work, so difficult to be trusted, so difficult to put new idea uh, on the table. Today I'm not going to talk about the charity week because I've gone through all this long time ago. Today I'm going to be talking about that I will be the president. I am going to aim high to the top. I will never aim to less anything less than the pinnacle, the top, the peak. I will be the excellent. I will be the one who will be able to do what others cannot do. I will be that man or that woman or that child who will have the dream to be the president while he or she is a refugee, is a displaced, is a homeless. I will be the president. I'm not going to be less than a president. And this is a message for each and every one of you. You are not going to be educated to just have a job. You are not going to be educated to become a doctor or an engineer or a teacher. No. You are going to be educated to make the change, to excel, to lead, and to produce the quality of your speciality. I will be the president. You are not less than President Obama or Clinton or Trump or whoever it is. Are they different to you? But you are serious. They had a dream. They had a dream and they fulfilled it and they became what they wanted. Are you less than Theresa May or Tony Blair or others? No. You are not. You are not. But they were determined to become the PM. They had a vision. They had aim and the objectives. And they decided to do it. And they did it. I will be the president. I'm not going to be less than that. And you have to meet the challenge. It's not only about collecting a charity for banana. Where's the banana? Because my name is El Banna, and the Banna and Banana and have got something together. <laughs> That's right. Where is it? Give it to me. <laughs> El Banna and Banana. It's not about the banana tonight. It's about my presidency. It's about my presence as a human being. Allah has created each individual human being. To be responsible for humanity. You take it or you don't take it. Prophets and messengers came, but each and every one of you is responsible for humanity. Humanity in his family or her family. Humanity in his area or her area. Humanity in his city or town or her city or her town or her country or humanity as a whole. This is a responsibility. You have not been given all this great signs of creation of God in you to sit down and do nothing. Sit down and be nothing. Sit down and talk about nothing. Sit down and waste your life by wasting your time. Nothing. I'm not going to believe in the nothing of nothing. You got me? I'm not going to be a banana or banana skin. Between the banana skin and the banana, the monkey is coming. The monkey is coming. And if we have the peanuts, we get monkeys. But if we have the cashew nuts, we get horses. Give me the banana later on. <laughs> Do you want to be a president? Who, who, who wants to be a president? Raise your hand and stand up. I'm serious. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm serious. You have to believe that you will be and you will be. One is here. Anybody else? Anyway, stand up. Stand up. It's not a joke. Stand up. It's not a joke. 
Stand up. If you want to be a president, you can't become a president. You can't become a president. You can't become a president. Obama, Clinton, Kennedy, Trump are not, are not better than you. You could be equal to them or better than them. But the difference is you have to believe in yourself. We have to believe in ourselves to make it, and we will make it, inshallah. Let me give you a story how you become a president. First challenge for us is to clean our heart. First challenge. First challenge to clean our heart from the sickness of the heart, which is envy, hatred, backbiting, Scandal mongering, do we do that? Do we do that? We do it. We do it. I know that we do it. Is this grudgy feeling towards anybody? Oh, I hate her. Oh, she has a big nose. Oh, look at what? Oh, is this? Oh, keep doing the oh. Clean the O from your heart. This is number one. Cleansing of the heart is most difficult. Extremely difficult. Number two is to have a clean and good intention for the community and the humanity you are trying to serve. Because the only one who will know our intention is Allah, God, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Cannot fool him. I can fool you, and I can fool anyone in the room, but I cannot fool myself and Allah, because he is the creator. He knows exactly what I am up for. And if I am cleaning my intention every day, second step. Third step, my manner. Manner is not a code of dress. It's not a long beard. It's not a sign of, uh, of, of prayer on your head. Manner is how to deal with people and how to let people to love you. Because you are so special to everybody. You are so dear to everybody. You are so close to everybody. Quran, The manner of our Prophet ﷺ was Quranic. And he's a, he was a walking Quran on earth in his manner. Religion is not about a sermon. Religion is not about speech on Friday or, or Saturday or Sunday or Monday. It's about dealing with people, respecting people. Third point is being humble. You got your PhD, so what? You got your professorship, so what? You become, so what? Humility. Humility, humility. It's difficult to do, especially when we succeed. Especially when we're trying to achieve something. We forget about the cause and we remember ourselves. Humility. Mixing with the poor and the sick and the marginalized and the people who nobody want to be with them. Who nobody wants to be with them. Can we do this? Or only after the fame of the famous? Behind the glory of the glorious? And with the powerful because they are rich and give us the money. You know who can elevate you, brothers and sisters? The prayer of a sick man or a woman whether he or she is a Muslim or a Christian. Prayer, because Allah looks at her prayer to you, particularly if there is no blood relationship between you and her, or you and him. Mixing with people. Fourth one is to love the act of goodness. Helping the charity. Being with people to help them. Not to feel pity for them. Oh. What? 
You don't know who's closer to Allah. You or them. The people in the tent. The young boy and the girl with sticky eyes. And with running nose. Barefooted. Could be hundred, if you could be far more better than any sheikh in the mosque. Any scholar. Any priest. Any vicar. Any rabbi. Because the one who decides this is not you. It's him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Help. Help. Help with no reward. Let the reward to be in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you are in a community, don't ever divide them. Try to unite them. Try to bring them together. Easy to divide. Difficult, sometimes impossible to unite. You know your prophet? You know prophet Jesus, peace be upon him? You know prophet Moses, be upon him? Jesus came to spread the word of love and save the Israelites. Moses came to save the children of Israel and take them to the promised land as he was trying, but they betrayed him in Sinai. Muhammad came to, وسلم, came to build an ummah. Save and build an ummah. You talk here about building unity. It's difficult, extremely difficult. But he did it. He did not have any qualification from Leicester University or Birmingham University or UCL in London or LSE in London or Harvard. But as he had been ranked by one of the top uh, uh, authors, he was the top on top of humanity who managed to save humanity like Jesus, peace be upon him. Like Moses, peace be upon him, but at the same time, build an ummah, build this community, build this country, build those people who created civilization, not from Mecca and Medina. The beauty about his people was wherever they went, they built civilization. They went to Iraq, built civilization. They went to Syria, built civilization. They went to Istanbul or Istanbul, built civilization. They went to Andalusia, built civilization. And they empowered the local community. The heroes in Andalusia are not Arabs. The heroes, in, heroes and heroines in Turkey were not Arabs. The Ottomans were not Arabs. They are from your country. They walked thousands of miles. You know from where? From China. Till they came to Turkey. To build civilization. The nomad. He managed to lead the nomad to build civilization. This is, this is your challenge and my challenge. Building unity is not a joke. It's not a speech. Never it was. It was a mission and a vision by the man who taught humanity how to stand on their feet to save and serve humanity. And build justice. And bring people to justice and fairness. Know the knowledge. You have to be learned. That's why we're in university. Most importantly, the history. The great history of the great people. Not to be fooled by somebody who tells you something wrong, which is right. Or something right, which is wrong. I will be the president. Yes, you, I will see you in 20 years. Sister laughing, I like your laugh. Give me a smile. You are one of the us, you are the president. Yeah, very good, thank you. The, the technology, the applicable knowledge, the applicable science, as well as the human science, as well as history, as well as morality. Science without morality is waste of time. It's destruction. You see how much they made profit out of the arms sales. To destroy the people in Yemen. Destroy the people in Iraq. Destroying the people in Libya. And everywhere in Africa. This is a wicked industry. This is a wicked industry. This is a wicked industry. Because this industry should be guided by morality. 
Yes, you can make the trillions or the billions out of arms deal. But when we have moral corruption, we don't care about the people who are being killed or destroyed by our arms or our actual weapons. I will conclude. This actually, all this, what I said, is a part of making you a president. I will never leave this room before believing that you believe that one day you'll be a president. Why are you shy? Raise your voice. I like your key. Is the key of your house? The key of my house? The key of my car? Key of what? Palestine Conference. Palestine Conference? Okay. What is this? Can somebody tell me? He has a key, I have a flower. Which is more attractive? Come with me or him. <laughs> Who's more handsome? <laughs> He's looking for a wife. <laughs> Why is he going to do this to me? Huh? Why do you do this to me, Sheikh? <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend you. <laughs> I will be a president. Huh? <laughs> so let me give you a, a, a practical story to conclude with. Some young man, his great-grandfather great was a caliph, which was the ruler of Muslims. Umar ibn Khattab. And his great grandmother from his, uh, his mother was uh, the sales, the, eh, the milk, what, uh, uh, the woman who was selling the milk, milk lady. milk lady, who was trying to mix the water with the milk. You remember the story? This woman, at the darkest of night in, in Medina, she was talking to her daughter. Telling her, just mix the water with the milk. Say, mommy. Uh, no, it's wrong. I said, please, do it. I said, no, I want to do it. I said, are you afraid of Omar? I said, no, I'm not afraid of Omar. I'm afraid of Allah. Who was listening to her at that time? Omar himself, the caliph or the, pres or the president, if you can call him. And he put a mark on the house at that time. And went back without knowing who is the woman and who is the name of the, what's the name of the young girl. What's the background? He looked at her morality because he listened to the discussion at the middle of the night. Went to his sons. Tell them, I'm, tell all of them, I'm an I'm old man. I cannot get married. Please, can any one of you go and marry this excellent girl with the high moral system? One of his sons said, yes, daddy, I'm going. And he married her. She became, she became the grandmother of the man which I'm going to say his story. He was very handsome, like you. <laughs> Not like me. <laughs> and she sent him to Medina to learn the knowledge. His other uncle was the ruler, big ruler, but she did not send him to the politics. Before politics, she sent him to the morality. And he was learning from his cousins, from his uh, uncles, from his mother, the essence of life, the etiquette, the morality, and the values for life, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz. And when he grew up, he had this kind of anxious soul, anxious soul. His soul is always asking for the best, not satisfied with what he achieves at any time. When he was a young man like you, he loved his cousin. She was very beautiful. Have you seen her? <laughs> he loved her, his, 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 uh, her, his cousin. And said, I will dream. His dream was to marry her. And he married her. Then he had another dream. To be the ruler of Medina. And he became the ruler of Medina. Then he had a third dream. Because his, role, his, 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 uh, his soul is, is, is building up to what he wants to achieve. He said, I would love to become the caliph myself. And he became the caliph. 
And then after he became the caliph, he said, now, what is better for me to have after being the ruler of a state from Andalusia to China? He looked up to the sky and say heaven. Nothing better for me than heaven. This is a morality with the professionalism, with the dedication, and with the commitment of a president. He had the dream from a young age, and he managed to make it, and he did it. And each and every one of us today must have a dream to excel. Because you are among the excellent ones. When we are here in England, we are British. We are not foreigners. We have to pay our respect and to add our value to our society. To build our country. To build our unity. To build civilization with a new mosaic. Diverse and excellent mosaic. Now I have to stop because I took too much time. Yes? So really we have a role to play here in UK. To bring community together. Don't be let down by the Islamophobe. Never. See what they have said about Jesus and Mary, peace be upon them. Something I cannot dare to say. Because it is blasphemous. But where is Jesus, peace be upon him? And where is his message? And Lady Mary the Virgin and her message. Never, never, never let anybody to let you down. Say, peace be upon you. I have no time for you because I'm going to excel. I'm going to be the president. I'm going to excel. I'm going to be the servant of my country, the servant of my community, the servant of my town, the servant of humanity. Don't ever let anybody to let you down, Mr. President, or can you say Mrs. President or Miss President? What was for the wound? What do you call it? Uh, Madame, Lady President? Huh? Madame, Madame, President. Madame President. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Madame, Madame President. Mr. President and Madame President. <laughs> now, now you have to follow. <laughs> come, come. I'm finished now. Now, Jazakumullah khair. May Allah bless you, inshallah. I hope. That this banana, can you take a, a, a selfie with, with me and the banana? <laughs> and sell it. <laughs> Make a movie out of it. Me and the banana. If I sell myself, how much are worth? And if we sell the banana, how much it will be? Which is cheaper, me or the banana? The banana, the banana is better, huh? Jazakallah <laughs> khair. And... <laughs> but, 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 but before... We did not, you did not tell me what is this flower. Remembering that's it, that's it. Remembering Srebrenica and prevent it happening again. Prevent it happening again. You want the banana or the microphone? <laughs> thank you, thank you.